Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at the progress lines and how you can use a progress line with a status date. So first of all, let's have a look at the status date. Now on the project tab, you have on the right hand side, the status date where you can um, put a date in there and that will be the status date. If you go into project information, you can also do that status date in this box. Now, if you don't have a status date, um, project uses today as the status date, but I'm going to set a status date in this box for the 2nd of August, which is next Monday. Click OK to that. Now, what I want to do is put a progress line on to show me how I'm doing based on that status date. So if I go to the format tab, I go to grid lines and in there you can see progress lines and then you have some options so display at the status date and I can change the line style if I don't like that so I can change the line type if I want a different line style and then all other progress lines can have a different style line color if you think it disappears into the background too much you can change the color and all the different ends and starts to a progress line as well. So if I click OK to that, you can see the progress line is not great because based on next Monday, everything according to that is delayed. However, if I start completing some of these tasks, like let's just make that 100% complete, you can see you now get a bit of a straight line there. And if I just highlight a couple of these and make them 100%, you can see that there is a straight line appearing down the page like that. Now, obviously, if you are on schedule as a project, you would want that to be a straight line. This is just jumping back and showing you where you've got slippage or where you've got delayed tasks. And if I say, for example, this is 50% done, so the little marker comes into the um, task a little bit more, and what you can do also is on the um, project tab and the task tab, well, task tab, you've got an option to move incomplete parts to the status state. And you've also got that on the project tab. If I go update project, reschedule. Um, uncompleted work to start after the status state, which is there. Remember, we set that, so that's there. So I'll go back to the task option because that's got a bit more information on it there. So if I do that one, you can see what it's done there. So that bit's completed. So it's moved everything across like so. And you can now see the status state showing there. Now, if I go back into format and progress lines. So I've got that set on display as on the project start date but if I take that off you've got the options to set one let's say every Monday or let's go for Friday and then click OK to that and then you can see that's showing from Friday so the spikes going the other way now so you can see how that how that is displaying this so the straight line there if I go back into it there's other options in there if I go back into that I take that off that tick off you've got the option to actually display as per a date set here so if i go i want the it's 29th let's say and then oh, actual plan of baseline i have a set i have saved a baseline I click ok you can see that coming back and if i go back into there again you can get rid of that one and say you want one displayed daily every work day and then click OK, and then you're going to get a line coming down like so. But as these tasks are all complete, if you complete all the tasks, the, the status will change. Now, if I set the status bar to a particular day, go back to um, Format, Grid Lines, Progress. So take that off daily status date back to that one and click OK 
you've got a straight line because everything that was due to be completed there has been completed by that date. And if I go back to project and change that to a week ahead of that, so I'll go to the ninth, say, okay, that's a straight line because nothing that got to that date is outstanding. If I come back closer in, so if I go back second 26, okay, that's that date, that's a straight line also. So if it's a straight line, you are a happy teddy bear and you're liking that. If it's spiking back, it's showing you where you've got delays because of a particular task. So task A, I put there. And let's just say that was due to start before the project start day on the 19th. Yeah. So you can see it's spiking back to that because according to that, it's delayed. Um, didn't happen for some reason. And that's what this will show. So it can look quite ugly uh, if you're presenting this to somebody. So what I usually tell people is it's great to look at yourself, give you a visual, but I wouldn't necessarily send that up the chain for my manager to look at maybe because it might throw up a few questions that I'm not wanting to answer, whether they're genuine or not. But that's what the progress line does. And hopefully you enjoyed that little session and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time.